Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lonsville. This is going to be the epic ending that we've all been waiting for. Hopefully we get a few battles. Here we are. We are 92 years in. So this this uh, this episode here is going to be a full eight years, actually. We're going to try and fit it all in. There's not too much building to do, so we're just going to be trying to build up our population. So we'll get as close to a thousand as we can and we'll continue on. I actually ran out of um, iron ore here, so I've gone ahead and put down a new iron mine. And we're also getting a little bit low on the old coal here. We're going to bump that back up now. We've got plenty of um, people. So let me just show you. We've got 111 labor spare at the moment, so we're quite good. We're actually missing a soldier, so I need to double check where that is from. It could well be... It's not in that cavalry stable. It's not in that one. There it is. Okay. It's in Dragon Company. So we'll go ahead and get one more heavy as well. I was going to grab in some pikemen to see how they are, but we're okay. There is 858 on the population. Now it feels weird to be back in this game for the absolute massive session of Manor Lords I've been playing. <laughs> oh man, if you haven't seen that, please do check it out. It's, uh, it's an absolutely fantastic game. Um, and as always, I do appreciate you being here as well. If you could just hit the thumbs up for me. And subscribe if you aren't already. Just take you a little run through here as our soldiers and stuff walk around the streets. I don't spend enough time just appreciating through here, right? I love the that type, the birch tree. It's so nice. There we have it. And the new zone over here then is kind of propping us up population-wise. So we're doing quite well. I've put in a few. I've upgraded the flagpole. We've popped in a couple new gardens. You'll see them going in real quickly. Um, we're getting there. So I'm going to speed it up. We're going to fly through and see if we can get... Well, that one, for some reason, doesn't want to upgrade. It's on 75%, but it will eventually, I think. You get a remainder of these. We want to be able to house 1,000. We're pretty much going to hit that. A couple of house spaces over here as well. And I think there was one over in this. We're really framey now. The amount we've uh, built up. There's one house in here there that isn't upgraded as well. That will give us two more slots. So we need to get that one ticked up 2%, I think. So we need to find something that can do that. I'm pretty sure that's going to do the job. Do we want that one there? Put it behind by the market there. That should do the trick. Then we don't need to worry about that one. I'm actually going to prioritize that as well. We spent a lot of iron. Um, but we should see it coming. I bought a bunch, so we're okay. And then we should see this start to go up as we get the new one in. So we've got that going. Let's get that maxed out. So we've got a nice surplus going on the iron as well and then we should expect an attack quite soon actually we will just pop in a couple more trees to continue this on so i did notice no we're good there but the trees and the bushes through there you can't really fit it in there it's a shame you can't kind of paste it outside of the borders next to the thing there but that's all right i'm pretty i'd like the trees to give like one percent desirability or something as well that would have been cool but here's what it is there we go. A bit of an upgrade there. So I'll be popping these straight onto upgrade once they're built as well. Get the most out of each garden that we can. So how many houses have we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's say 25, 24. So population wise, that's going to give us almost another 100 once they're all upgraded. Because you get one for the next upgrade per the two upgrades that come in there. Plus two when it goes to the final house. Let's say 80 more. So... That should cover our 1,000 pop if we were to get there as well. We've got eight years. We'll see how quick we can grow it. Birth rate's still pretty good. we just got to get on top of the food, I think. And uh, to be fair, it's not in a bad way anyway. So weed level should go down from this one. Fertility isn't a problem. Like, these ones are great. We've got no problems over here. Oh, yeah, they're all really good. That one's on a downward trend as well. That's good. So next year is not the best on food, but it should be okay. Yeah, we're looking good. It's just that one farm then. But we did expand it. That's why it's got a higher thingy there as well. As always, though, we are doing pretty good. Paper's a little bit low now. Um, it's amazing how many eggs you get from three chicken barns, actually. Not bad at all. Just keeping an eye on the flower levels, all that. Beer's pretty low at the moment. Not sure why. Um, and I think we've turned back on to create the armor at the moment as well. Let's take a quick look. We've got the weaponry when needed. I think they're struggling to actually make it all, though. Oh, no, they're not too bad. They're stuck on heavy tools, I think. We've got that second one over here, haven't we? Let's actually fill that up. Oh, that's the tannery. 
Don't need to fill you up. Pick the wrong building. <laughs> you. There we go. And then in terms of smeltery, they should both be in a good spot. Yep. And then over here, we've got the heavies. Maybe let's have a look. Let's go to six in here as well. So we're covered. It's just because we ran out of iron. But again, we'll see that coming in. That shouldn't take long. And then when we get more available, we'll smash through that as well. I'm going to keep filling this up so we can trade it in and make some more dollar. All right, we are into year 93. I'm going to try and get this last house. That's another two slots over there. You're seeing it ticking up nicely anyway. Uh, there's not too much death going on. So we've only got 40 elderly, loads of children. So we're going to have loads of people growing up as well. Um, gold's still okay. So if we wanted to get more towers and stuff in, we could. I was kind of contemplating getting an archer squad from another barracks though, but I don't really know where to place it. We could always pop it up here and then bring them down. So they're kind of... Yeah, that would stop them pushing. Or maybe we get them out over here. I've got no problems putting them in here. Let's take a look. If we get another barracks, then we could slot it in quite nicely around this area. It's like it is higher up and it would save us a little bit of hassle over here. We can kind of fight over here, maybe. It would stop them pushing in. Or even some other kind of soldiers, I'm not sure. Almost seems a bit weird having it, though. I don't think it's necessary. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the next attack is. And if so, then I can get that in as well. And we'll pump those numbers up. And then we'll... we'll hopefully, this guy's got the spices. Let's see. Come on. Damn it. We're getting pretty low. So gold's going to disappear really, really soon. So we're going to have to sell what we can. Uh, we can take all of his gold here, which is fine with that one. He doesn't have much else. There's no raw materials. Hopefully, we get a few more traders. I'm hoping for someone with some iron. As you can see, we are out once more. We can't keep up with the demand. We are making heavy armors and stuff, though, at the moment. So we do need to factor that in. I think at the moment we've got one soldier with a halberd that could have heavy armor. So we need to wait on that one. But they've definitely done some big improvements to the way the population increases late game, for sure. This is so much better, for sure. It feels a lot smoother and a lot better. So I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, always good to see. I don't know what is causing this. Walls and gates are another valuable defense measure since guards alone may not always be enough. I don't know what's going on with that raid thing that keeps popping up. We're killing them though and we're not actually getting attacked so we'll take it for now. <laughs> it's tempting to get some maybe then rather than what we're doing maybe some more towers like I can get one in here. That's not a bad idea. It does cover that little area as well. Yeah let's get another one and then we'll check with the trader as well. Hopefully we can pull in some iron or something here. Damn it. There's nothing. We can sell the beer, though, or the clothing. Here we'll go with the clothing. We can get the full shebang from him there, and maybe a little bit more here. Let's take all 140 from him, and that's perfect. It's got plenty of gold sitting in there now, so ready for when we can get spices. I actually don't need to worry about pouts at the moment as well. Those extra hunters have been fantastic. Loads of stone. Maybe we'll buy in shoes. Yeah. No harm in grabbing that. Another five born as well. 875 on the population. And with this stone coming in now, let's go down to 10. Go down to 8 in the quarry. We can get a lot of stuff done here. And then I'm actually going to up the builders now to 60. So they're covered for repairs if needed. And we'll continue on. I think we'll get in a little bit more decoration over here. To keep trying to get this going. We've got some in good percentages here. Some gardens that still need upgrading, and then we can fit in just those those little extras, you know. Pretty sure we can squeeze in some garden spaces, some nice little ones around there. Nice ones attached to there. As you can see, I've kind of not been as fussed with this little area. It still looks good, but it's not as pretty as the other ones, but we're just trying to bump them up, really. That's all we're trying to do at the moment. And you can get some good percentages around them just by checking to see where I can squeeze a little garden in. So get them all round and then I'll upgrade those. That should bump most of those up. I think we can do a bit more over here. Yeah, percentage is really low over here. And I think one of those beauties in there. I think I can get one up here. And then we can get some smaller gardens just around this little area as well. Give these a nice little bump. So when you upgrade those, again, that'll be good. They do cost a little bit. But it's only stones and planks at the moment. All right, we just dung another ding, 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 seven new villagers. Yeah, it's amazing. They've definitely fixed it because the previous, I was getting like no birth rate and no immigration unless I was over 10 to 12 months of food, which was crazy, I think. 
Um, the only thing we could probably do is improve spoilage by a little bit. But I think the spoilage is coming down to fruits, potentially. The fruits and bread. So um, we're keeping that to a minimum anyway. We're smoking up whatever we can. The only other thing is to pop in more fisheries, to be fair, which we can go ahead and do. We've got plenty of people to do it now. I'm not going to lie to you. That garden looks way out of place to this area at the moment. I think it will look a lot better when the houses upgrade, but... Yeah, a little bit too much. I'm going to get in a couple more fish fish houses over here. Fish shacks. So we're going to get one there. It's like a little fishing village, isn't it? It's quite cool, actually. We'll get another one over here, and then we'll get one more. I'll put it I'll put it here, and then we'll, we'll move the circle over as well. And we'll just utilize this whole lake here. It's got a crazy amount of fish anyway, so... All right, we're thawing out. We're about to come into year 94. Everything's looking good. We've got our armor still coming in. I've just decided to chop down a bunch of trees out here as well. As you can hear them all, look at them all smashing away at the trees as well to level them. Get caught up on all that as well. But there it is, year 94. We're looking pretty good. Let's see if there's anything we can trade in here ready as well to make sure we're... Oh, yeah. Holy crap. That's a lot of beer. Good stuff. Hopefully we can sell some of that this year. And I'm hoping for a good trader to come in with um, spices. We need them this year. We're on 30. We're getting rather low. Candles are still coming in really, really well for us. So that's something we can continue to just keep selling and topping up. Everything else I'm not really bothering with. I don't think we need to worry about it. We've got plenty of items. Sand's still leveled out nicely. Just catching up on armors. So let's check back in and just double check our candle shops here. We've got the two that are full. Yeah, that's more than enough. We still have loads. If we wanted to, we could just hammer out and get rid of all this wax. Raw iron or iron would be fantastic here. That's a no, though. Tools are very healthy now, which is good, though. There's nothing we can really sell. Are we looking on tallow? Not something I checked it. Oh, 568. Yeah, let's get another soap shop in, man. All right, where do we want a dirty soap shop? That is the question. <laughs> right. No problem. Look at that. That's a perfect slot. If I can get that flattened that little bit more. It looks like it's enough, doesn't it? It's frustrating that. It should be. But it is what it is. Let's get that bit done then. And then we'll get another soap shop in. Trade number two is buying clothing. You have iron. It's at an increased rate, but I'm okay with that because we're about to sell some stuff to you actually, which is fine. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to take it all. And then we'll make all of that money back from all of this as well. So we'll get rid of you. We'll also get rid of you. And there we have it. So I'm going to transfer a little bit in. 1,200. And then hopefully the next one has what we need. Oh, look at this. we got some proper big boy houses over here now. They came in pretty quick. All of those gardens definitely did the trick. That one's upgrading at the moment. It looks like we could squeeze a couple more around here if we need to as well to get these going. But yeah, desirability is pretty good over here. Just the outskirts ones, really. I can get those up further, though. Um, we are yet to put a pub over here, so I could just stick one along this edge here if I wanted to, which probably is a good idea because that's going to make us money. Same with the healer house. Yeah, let's pop a pub just over here then. So that's going to bump pretty much all of those up, and then we'll go back to Silver Tongue over here. Damn it, he's got no spices. We're really going to struggle with money very, very soon if we can't get that in. Look how quick that iron disappeared that we bought as well. Well, bit of a naff one. Oh, God, here we go. An invading army demands a payment attack. Oh, I see lots of siege kit here. So, horsies, rally your booties over here, please. Are you coming out? Yes, they are. Perfect. Right, we got all our horses coming. And let's go fight. Let's slow it down so I can see what's actually going on. They're going to be in the walls almost instantly. Oh, my God, that's a strong army. <laughs> got to try and avoid these somehow then with my horses so let's grab select cavalry let's get them over here they're going to be in mighty quick walls are down holy moly there's some big boys in there they are big boy horses as well jeez man probably ring the bell too go ahead and do that Get everyone inside. Hunters. Oh, God. Uh, you guys can come this way, please. Keep running this way. 
I'm going to try and run straight through them. So these guys are going to send around to get those. Um, these ones then will just run through, actually, and probably just scrap over here. We are fine. Can you get inside? Probably don't want to lose them just yet. We're going to send them in. I'm going to use the walls a bit. So I'm going to just bring them in. I need to get rid of that rally sign there, but not return them. So I'll micromanage these a little bit. We'll get rid of those before they start doing loads of damage. And then these guys will make sure are in there. Perfect. A couple of them got caught out. That's fine. Go on, you can make it. Ride on through. Will he survive? I think so. Yes, yeah, so they're going to get up on the walls here. I think we managed to survive with all of our horses. <laughs> going to keep them back up there for now. And then they should go back. These guys need to go and do their thing over here. And yes, we'll take the immigration. Holy crap, that takes us to 900. And there we go. It should be a nice quick demolish of all this here. Villagers dying. We'll check out you in a minute. I just want to kill these, get inside, and then go take out those. So we're going to send them straight into these. Stop all of the siege kit. Horsemen are a must for this, aren't they? And then we've got a whole bunch of... A lot of junk going on here. They want to go in desperately. I'm going to bring them up here. I think. Yeah. We're going to bring them away for now. Let them in. Hopefully they path exactly where we want them to. They should come up this way. Yeah, just got a couple of randoms coming that way. I might kill them then. I'll wait for these guys over here. And then those guys are getting killed by a horseman over there. We've got a few killing some things over here, but that's fine. These are the stronger ones that are typically going to drop some items too, which is good. Get these to quickly hack down these little soldiers here that are coming through. They're so good when they get caught out. Honestly, it's just nuts, man. All right. Do you want to get involved maybe? Here we go. The big stuff is happening. So let's open this. Let's watch as they get melted away. I'm going to just send the horsemen in for a laugh. There they go. They're going to do pretty well here anyway, I think. They'll take a bit of a beating. They might die. We'll see. Let's back them up now. War on! We, they managed to do really well there. We pulled a few off, actually. That's good. <laughs> Dirty boy. <laughs> yeah, you can peel some away from the pack by doing that. That's actually great. You've got to be careful here that they don't get in too hard. They're pretty armoured, so we might need to bring out some soldiers here. Where's my other horsemen here? Bring those around. And we have sent quite a few away. And they've decided to go in for a second round. Come back out again, please. Let's see if we can pull some away. The answer is yes. Let's send those back. Oh, they are in. Okay. Right, this barrack should kick in now. Let's flag these over inside. I wonder if, actually... No, I don't even think we're going to need to take them out. This is the first time they're getting in, but I don't think we will. Probably grab these out. No, we're going to send them packing pretty quickly. They're not going to take that down at all. Nice. The rain of arrows coming in. I did manage to get a second one in there, by the way, guys. Didn't manage to get it updated, though. But those soldiers have come out automatically because they're close enough. We've killed... We, we lost some. I think we managed to keep that whole... <laughs> Look at them chasing it down. We managed to keep that whole horse unit intact by just running around. I think. Great defense. Great, great defense. Right, we're good there. We're good there. Right, we lost three, three lancers there. That's okay. We'll recruit more. We don't necessarily have the, uh, the gear for that, but and then we lost one over here. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we might have lost a couple of hunters too, but we'll get everything repaired. We'll keep going as always. So everything repaired. That was 100% our strongest attack so far um because they actually got further than i thought they actually ignored these two towers and went straight for the town hall too which was interesting but absolutely fine let's go this is going to refer to our fishing huts isn't it yeah let's get these moved over them boom forgot about these we'll get you in a nice spot in between here and then we'll get you covering this section should be good Right, those fishing huts are going to give us a good amount of food again as well. So that's perfect. We're going to continue to upgrade these. All in all, though, very, very good defense. Lots going on. 
And there we go. Let's have a look. So we killed 93. They killed 5 and destroyed 16. They got away with nothing. I will take that. So at the moment then, we're just short on weaponry. Um, we've actually run out of those iron pretty quickly. I think they're replenishing it with all this. Yeah, I can see that. Perfect. Well, I think those soldiers are going to grab that. But there we go. Officially 900 pop in year 94. This is good. Because actually, it used to struggle. It used to take years. My last playthrough, we were on like... I know we were playing on the hardest difficulty, actually, and we lost a lot of people every time they attacked, but we only managed to get to, like, 950 or something. It was difficult. But, yeah, it was difficult, so they've definitely made it a lot better late game for sure. And I forgot that I put in those benches to the side there. That looks amazing. It's the little things, you know. All right, once this pub goes in, that's going to boost the rest of these up pretty well. We've got so many gardens knocking about through here as well. And then I think once that's in, I might put some trees along here. And keep it the same. I think at the moment, though, we've got plenty of beer to supply into there. Or not. We ran out. I guess after their fight, they decided to uh, get drunk. Right, there's one last thing we can put over here. Look at this. Without... This is because we got that pub in, right? Yeah, there it is. We've still got loads of beer. I was just thinking... I might just let the drunken madness ha happen at this point. But we could also get in the doctors over here. We're more than fine for that, I think. So... And that's going to bring the rest of them up really really well it would have been better to get it more central which actually i could no i don't think we can manage that i could move a house out and then get it in i think that's probably a smarter thing to do let's see where we can move a house to then so realistically then i think if we get rid of that and then just check this a second we should be able to move one of these so they're going to complain a little bit but it should be okay. Let's see if that works. Yep, that should be covered. And then I'm going to prioritize that large house. And then we're going to get the healer's house in there. That should cover all of it. And then upgraded to a hospital will be more than enough. Whilst we wait for that, we're going into year 95 here. Let's make sure we're transferred in. So beer's full. Candles, yes. That soap shop we were going to get in as well. So we'll work on that. Let's quickly check if there's anything else we want to grab in. But yeah, we're going to need those... Uh, so, oh yeah, I just realized we could probably go into the gold mine too. We've got more than enough people to do that now. Soap shop then. Ugly, ugly thing. Still not ready over here, so we'll do one more. Looks like that should do the job. Just hit that section there. Uh, and let's see if we can squeeze something on the gold pit here, in all fairness. Look at that. Right, we need to find a way in though, so that's going to be the main thing. So let's see if we can get a road going through. Probably can't, because the slope is going to be crazy. But we can make this work from here, no doubt, by flattening this. So I'm going to do that a couple of times. See if that works. We'll get that one in. And then hopefully we can get something going. And that'll be another way to get more gold in. And we can get even more soldiers if we want to. Uh, Not ideal. I won't lie to you. I don't want to sell that. There's some iron, though. Iron ore. There we go. Just get 500 of that bad boy in and then get that smelting non-stop. That should be fine to uh, give us a bit of a catch-up. Now I'm going to max out this deep gold deposit. Uh, gold deposit. There is another one, wasn't there? We could potentially go grab that as well if we want over here. Produce a little bit. It's a few hundred per year, I think. So probably should have got into that the moment we freed up a load of laborers. But it is what it is. Right, just going to check in on the cav here. Just make sure they're really lacking in the uh, the heavy weaponry here. So we're going to need to get that in. Got one needed in here still. I think what we need to do is change the smelting. So one sticks to like that. So there's no swords. Because that's what they seem to focus on. And then the other one will turn down. So tools. Power tools. 55. It's kind of. We might need to just bring the ratio down. And then over here, we'll say no heavy tools. Might buy a couple of those in if we get the chance to. Let's see. No, nothing to sell. Damn, man. Seven. Can we sell back to you for eight? We could. Not worth the uh, couple of hundred. I could, I could obviously just buy in a couple of these as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy five. That'll replenish some. Looks like that flattening did start to work as well. So I'm going to try and bring this down to be able to bring the road and attach it. It looks like we should be able to. But they're having to go a long old way around at the moment to get that to work. So 
And that looks like they can get down to it now. Perfect. So we'll get that one in. 904 on the population now and 95. I don't know if we're going to get it in five years, but we've managed to go up quite well in that time frame for sure. Oh, wow. Hello. Um, where are they then? All right. Good news. Oh, my God. Hello. Not good news. They're going to demolish this instantly. All right. Let's slow this down. And we've got another one out over here. I just see a lot. Holy moly. We need pikemen. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of horsemen. All right. Not concerned about you guys, though. We'll keep... All right. We'll get the bell rung. We'll get... So we got that extra tower. We've got you. So they're going to come in from this way anyway, mostly. And then I'm going to see if I can bring them round here. I think that might be the best thing to do. We'll run them over here and catch them in the back on this siege kit. They're going to break in very quickly. There is a lot. Not convinced we're going to even kill any because they seem to be targeting the wrong things here. I want them to target the people. That's better. Shoot the people. Okay, we're going to catch a few out here, which is good. I'm going to go straight in for those, I think. No, let's go run them round. They're all coming this way. Oh, God. Ignore those and just run this way. That's it. You're quicker. We're going to avoid them narrowly. Um, they're going to get in through here, but we are going to weaken them at least. And then I should be able to... Oh, we sent one. Cool. So I just need to get round for that one flinger there. There we go. It's, temp as tempting as it is to turn and fight those, we need to focus this bad boy here. So I'm going to send them straight into that. Uh, towers are going to go down very quickly here. That's okay, though. It holds them in place so we can get organized. And then the rest are going to come in and kind of take the brunt here. That's great. They're split off, so this tower is going to poke at those a little bit. We'll probably attack those in the back afterwards. There they go. Don't think we've done much. Have we killed any yet? Hey, we killed one. There you go. They're in now. I might be able to do something to get these in the back here. They should make very, very quick work of that. And then we'll try and single out some of these that are coming in. One, one tower down. We sent another one. Good. So we've got rid of all ballista kit, at least. I think. So I'm going to send these horses in to fight, though. And we should see rain of arrows coming in over here as well. So we need to keep a close eye on this area as well. They should do pretty well, but they're not. the arrows aren't going to be very effective. These, though, on the other hand, are pretty much going to wipe out the rest of the remaining... And we managed to save one of the towers, which is great. So I'll keep those going. Right. Let's grab our other horses. Let's flag these guys up here. Ready. We'll kind of get those pushing in. They're through and destroying that tower. We got them all in over here. I can see quite a few that are weak, actually. So it's a 60, 162 party. Where are the other horses? Okay, they're in over here. Okay, that is a scary looking mob right there. All right, we'll play then. We'll keep going. We're soon going to have these guys coming in then. I'm going to go and free up these over here, I think. This one's looking good. I'll get that upgraded after. I don't think they're getting into any of these, so we'll deal with these horsemen quickly after as well. And then other horses are coming in. Converge. I'm on 15 FPS right now. <laughs> Oh, man, there is a lot of health bars here. That's fine. They're going to break in very quickly there. Although, that's going to be the main brunt, actually. So those guys are in. Horses are coming down to deal with that little batch. We've killed 64, and they're in. Okay, let's get these guys straight in then. And then these guys should flag out in a moment. Oh, they're going to do serious damage to that, actually. Go on, horses! In you go! The amount of gold we've got, we might even be able to get away with another horse stable. Look at them. They are amongst it right now. Ah, oh, they are so strong. I cannot tell you how powerful those horses are. Especially when they start hacking at stuff. They just go straight into the back. Absolutely obliterating everything. And those horses dealt with that one without even checking as well. Holy crap. Great defense. That makes me happy. We might need to make this into another episode. <laughs> another five years, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Let me do the grand finale battle. Let's get everything repaired, though, because that was enough to make me happy. I enjoyed that. 
All right, everything's repaired. They're just running off now. Should probably get make sure my soldiers are all back in hand. Yep, they're back in. Looking good. We've got eight of eight there. A little bit of damage to Elkrond, but they are good. Those guys are all good. They're not even, like, fully maxed out weaponry-wise. That fort's okay, and that fort's okay. We lost no soldiers, then. Very good. 115 killed as well. Yeah, the, the horsemen just come in clutch. Right, spices are officially distributed across the camps. So our money's going to take a nosedive really, really soon. We're ready to sell. We're just not... They're just not coming in. Although, actually, saying that, this is almost in. So I'm going to make sure this is prioritized and get that iron on the go. We've got 10 pieces there. There's the raid, though. They managed to kill three villagers this time. That's okay with me. Um, the 12 were all fences. They didn't actually destroy any buildings other than towers. So quite happy with that. All right, let's get this tower upgraded now as well. So that's going to help a little bit more. Not that they got in, but that all these little extras are helping massively. So... Oh, I do still love this game, man. You'll have to let me know, guys, if you uh, want to see maybe a hard playthrough or another one. I need to come up with some design ideas for when we next play as well. Um, so I'm going to do the same with Manor Lords. I want to come with some actually cool, like, following historical town designs and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that as well. It would be massively appreciated. And obviously, if you do like what I do and you want to support me that little bit extra to help me make a dream become a reality, do consider a membership on Patreon or on here as well. And then I can name soldiers and things after you as well. So we made room for this. This house still hasn't upgraded, actually. So let's get a little garden and officially upgrade this last house. So we can fit 949. That's going to go to 951. And then over here, we can get this doctor's in now. So healer house boom they should that upgraded should take us up to the the final bit for most of these houses that one's still not upgrading so i think it may well be bugged so when that happens sometimes you gotta just give them a quick move and then move them back i've seen it before and that does typically work so all right we should officially be about to mine oh yes beautiful right we're gonna max this out to 16 i'm gonna see how well that can um produce so that's going to just gather the ore and then we need to smelt it down so we're going to need a brand new smelter but i want the soap shop first so i'm going to try one more time there we go i might need to try and get this flattened for another smelter though all right where can we squeeze in another foundry obviously they're terrible for desirability i wonder if we can get something in i think we're going to have to flatten further over here then that bit there is good i'm, I'm okay with that so i think if i can get this section down we can squeeze it in there get another foundry and that's going to be exclusive on the gold it's so it's not the rate in which you can mine the actual nuggets as you can see it's the physical smelting of them um that should mine them relatively okay once they get going so we'll have to see 909 on the population and we are coming to the end of year 95 so we'll be 96 years in a beautiful thing let's check in Everything looks good here. Everyone's full. Let's see. Elderly 48. Loads of children and adolescents. So the numbers are just going to keep going up. It probably should take over that next tower as well. Again, there's no uh, spices though. And we're getting pretty low on these heavy tools. That scares me. You don't want to run out of them at all. So you've got to be careful. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So their focus is the heavy tools. We should get the two per year then. And then on the other one... We should be able to get the rest in. I might just turn off the little swords here. Just go with the weapons. So tools and weapons should be good. Tools are still okay even though we changed that. So that's fine. And we may need to get a third one of those in as well. The problem we have is the iron at the moment. So we've rinsed through that raw iron very quickly. There you go. Look, we can have four gold ore. Can I fit in my little boundary now? And we can fit it in. Hopefully they can get to this. So we'll get a foundry in over here. It's become a very hilly industrial area, hasn't it? Look at this. It's interesting though, because it then causes problems for their pathing when they try and come in. I'm also tempted to get in another wagon shop too. So actually, let's get another one. I can squeeze this in over here. That would be really nice. We can. Perfect. It's going to cut down a couple of those trees. And um, we have to keep manually harvesting too to keep on top of the wood requirements i think but that's okay we can do that 
it's mainly planks. We we built a lot of planks, or used a lot of planks, by the way. But there's plenty of trees out here, and we got loads of laborers to do that. And then gold is looking fantastic. So let's just check in before the traders come. Make sure we are continually filling up. A miner's out of ore. Ooh, clay has officially gone. Interesting. We have this clay pit here, though. I wasn't expecting that. Completely forgot about you. All right, chickens. I'm sorry, but you're having someone in a clay pit next to you. Get that one built as well, then. And we'll ramp that up. I think we're fine on clay anyway. Brick should be pausing. Yeah, so we're good. All right, let's have a look over here. Okay, last planks going into the healer's house as well. Perfect. We're seeing this, like, fully upgraded almost. We did move that one house out, though, so let's get that one moved back now. Let's try that and see if it upgrades. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. All right, first trader has arrived, and he is buying. He's tempting to sell him the honey first, because they hardly ever come and buy that. So, yeah, let's do that. One seven, that'll do. And we could buy clay from him. No iron bars, no raw iron. Uh, that's pretty much it from him, isn't it? I may as well make the last couple pieces of gold. We'll wait for the next ones there. And we are officially out of heavy tools here. Holy crap. Uh, heavy tools, heavy tools, heavy tools. Let's turn this down. Six to one. We need those heavies. Although, not that we have the iron either. I might have that one as a doing both, smelting both iron and gold. All in all, looking pretty damn good though. 912 on the population. Guys, we've got room for another episode in this series. So this is going to be where I end this one out. I didn't quite realize how long it takes to record for that many years. There's plenty of battles to come. So we really need to get on top of our iron. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We've we've recruited. We may need to get some pikemen. So that might be something we have a look at as well. Smelting gold is going to help that. Another trader coming in. But as always, guys, thank you for being here. Thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't. As always, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.